Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. My name is Behruz. I am a software engineer developer. We are here to building a blockchain series from scratch with Rust with a basic prototype and proof of work algorithm. I'm not going to talk about how does a blockchain work, but I'm sure plenty of documents and video series out there. You can learn from them. I prepare a link from MIT Open Course, and I'm sure you can learn anything about blockchain and Bitcoin. Their explanation explanation are great, and I link them in blue. Uh, just click on the link and watch those videos. Okay, before we start. To creating entire blockchain in Rust, please add these libraries in your cargo. Uh, for example, we use the Rust crypto for a hashing algorithm. We use a SHA-256. Also, we use a bind code for serialized and deserialized data. We use a failure for error handling as led for a database log and event logger for better logging. CLAB work. Uh, CLAB used for command line tools. Uh, Bitcoin hash addresses for creating wallet address. Uh, when we go further, we explain all these library. How do these libraries work? Don't worry. Let's start creating our blockchain. For a start, uh, we are going to uh, implement a block and blockchain because after we uh, mine a block, we need to put them to the blockchain. So uh, let's do it. We need a two strike right now, one of them for block and one of them for blockchain. Block has uh, some fields. Those fields are Timestamp, transaction, previous block, hash, hash, height, and nonce. Timestamp, the current timestamp, which is the time when the block was created. Transaction, uh, we are here using a string because we don't implement transaction yet. But you can see as those sending and receiving money right now. Previous block hash is represent uh, hash of the previous block hash 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 is the hash of the current block height and nonce you can see uh, block height represent the number of blocks that were confirmed the entire history of the blockchain network nouns you know nouns is useful for mining you know we use the proof of work algorithm when we want to mine a block, we need to change the nouns to shuffle the hash to find the current hash because, for example, the difficulty is four zeros. That means when you find the hash start with the four zeros, you need to change the nouns to find the hash. The blockchain just has one field. Uh, entire blockchain is going to be uh, here. We use a vec. Okay, we needed to implement some methods for block and blockchain. For a start, we are going to create a new block. So I'm going to paste some code here. New block has data, previous block hash and height. Data represent the transaction, but we don't uh, implement the transaction yet. We just a uh, simple string right now. We need a previous block of block hash and the height. Height is, uh, I'm not going to mess around with the height right now because when we go further, we are going to talk about. So uh, when we are going to create a block, we need a timestamp, okay? Uh, and transaction, use the data here, previous block hash. Hash is going to be empty right now because after we mine a block, we fill the hash. We are using height and nouns zero because when we mining block nouns is going to be changed so 
we we start with a zero after that we need to use the proof of work algorithm to mine a block and then we return a block we are going to implement this method right now to complete the run proof if work method we need a three uh, different method let's paste them here uh, okay uh, let's explain one one by one before to complete the proof of work algorithm you need first to validate the hash if the hash is not validated you need to increment announce to shuffle the hash let's go to the validate validate has uh, some functionality the first we need to get bytes from the block so uh, here we implement uh, another method prepare hash data uh, it's really simple you just need a clone data from the block and uh, serialize uh, serialize the content uh, as a byte and return it after you return you need to use the SHA-256 algorithm to create a hash so after that you need to compare the hash with the difficulties because uh, we use the target hex because we need to uh, the, our hash uh, difficulty start with the four zeros so we need to compare uh, four uh, element with the difficulty if the difficulty is the same so is validate and after that we, we are going to back to run proof uh, if work and we all need to call the prepare hash data to once more uh, use the SHA-256 to create our hash and we are going to fill the hash and return OK to complete uh, our run proof algorithm don't worry about the result we are going to uh, implement a custom result from a standard library let's do it let's paste the custom result here after to implement uh, these methods, we need to uh, implement some methods for uh, blockchain because we need to create empty blockchain with a genesis block and after that we are, we are going to add the block one by one. So let's paste the code here. Uh, we are here to create a new block with a genesis block and after that we use the add block to uh, mine and push them to the block okay uh, let's first create a new genesis block genesis block is going to be here you can put them before the new block uh, we paste the code here it just is really simple uh, data is going to be uh, empty string we don't have a previous block hash because it's the first block in our blockchain height is going to be zero right now after we implement the genesis let's go back to add block because we are here uh, need to get a previous block from the blockchain when we use when we create a new block we need the previous hash so we get the previous block and uh, previous hash here let's implement a get hash function it's really easy we just need a clone previous uh, we, ju we just need to clone the previous hash okay uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, we are complete uh, let's let's i think we need some drive for debug and clone for uh, for blockchain and uh, <clears throat> block let's do it let's add the drive debug for block i'm sure we need a clone okay let's check okay we don't have any error let's write some test for our block and blockchain 
Okay, let's scroll down to create our test. Let's use a mod test. Use implement all functionality here. We use a drive test here. Okay. Let's write a test. Test. Log chain. You need the test drive here. Okay, let's paste some code here. Use the collection new. We add the blood data, data one, data three. And we use a debug to print. We don't need to test that right now. Okay, we have a problem. Let's find the problem. Actually, we don't, we don't have any problem because this print is going to print nonsense. It's going to take a long, so let's run it. Okay, let's scroll down. As you can see, we create a four block. The first block is Genesis and data, data two and data three, so on. Okay. I'm sure for this video, that's enough. In the next video, I'm going to talk about transaction and wallets. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.